Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is going to be all about arrays. Now, I would highly recommend you check out my previous video, which is going to introduce arrays in a more conceptual manner, talk about some of the, the syntax, but this video is going to be the, the hands-on attachment to that. So I'm going to repeat some of the same stuff and help you guys get some hands-on practice, and it's going to be awesome. But you know what else is awesome? My C programming crash course. So please, if you're interested in that, go check it out in the description. And uh, I think you, uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So definitely go check that out. So when we create an array, we're basically creating a grouping of data. And all of this data is of the same data type. So when you're creating an array, you need to say what data type all the data is going to be. And, and you can't mix data types. So if you wanted to mix integers and doubles, that's not going to work. You would need to create two arrays, one for integers and one for doubles. So let's just say we're creating an array, my grades. The way you say it's an array is by putting these square brackets. Then there's two different ways essentially to put values in this. The first way is you create a size up front and then you go and manually say what each value is. And it starts with zero. So this, this number here is known as the index. So index zero we could set it to 10. And then we could do it again for index 1, 1, and set that equal to 11. And we could do this for all 10 of the elements. And then once we do, we could, we could access those elements the same way. So my grades index 0 is going to give us the value 10. And we could print that out as an integer. like so. You can see it prints the value 10. So that is the first way that you initialize, you, you declare an array and then you initialize it with, with some values. Now the other way is that we could do it all at once. So let me just get rid of this, let me get rid of these two here. And also get rid of the size. You're not going to want to use a size in this example you're going to use these curly braces and put all of the values here. And you can do as many sizes as, or as many elements as you want. And the size is going to be determined by the compiler. So we don't want to go in here and put a size because then if we ever decide to update the list, we'll have to remember to update that size too, which is extra work on us. And just doing stuff like that makes, makes it more likely to make mistakes. So makes, makes you more likely to make mistakes. So you don't want to do that. So this should work just the same way. And you can see it prints the value 10. Okay, so now I just wanted to talk about some vocabulary. The first one was index, which I told you. The next one was element. And the next is size. Okay, so the index, this is a zero based number. And it's the number associated with, with each one of these elements. So this one, is zero, this one is one, this one is two, this one is three, and so forth. An element, the the first element, this is kind of like the same thing, but I don't consider it to be zero based. So the first element is going to be this one. The second element is this one. The third element is this one. And the reason I'm bringing this up is mainly just out of my own uh, bitterness, I guess, because one time I had a test in school and it asked me what like, for example, what the, the first element was. And you know, if it was this example, I said, oh, 10. And I got it wrong because what the teacher meant was, hey, what's what's the element with index one? <laughs> Which is not the same thing in my opinion. And uh, I got it wrong and I, I, I told him about it and he was like, nope, you're wrong. And I was like, no, you're wrong. So that, that was annoying. And honestly, I've only ever been wrong once. And that was when I, I thought I was wrong. All right, so that is how you use arrays. And in the, the upcoming videos, we're going to just talk about different ways to, to, to work with these arrays. Um, but some of the things you can do, because each one of these elements is really just an integer, anywhere you expect an integer, you can use one of these elements. So you can, you can use them in expressions. So I could say my grades four plus 10 and I can assign that to some value, to some variable. And you can see there's no compiling errors. That works just fine. 
If you have a function that expects an integer, you can pass in this here. One thing though, is if you want to reference the entire array, it's just my grades. It's not my grades with this here. You leave off the square brackets. This is how you say, this is the array. You only use the square brackets when you're declaring the array or when you're trying to reference some index of that array. Also, one last thing is what happens if you go outside of the bounds of the array? What happens if we do like this? Well, let's just let's just find out. Let's let's try to print this. It's one of those days where literally every neighbor decides to mow their lawn while I'm trying to make videos. All right. So it gives us a warning. It says it's past the end of the array, but we're gonna run it anyways, you know, and we get some crazy value. Now, I think the, the result of this is technically undefined, meaning we don't know what's gonna happen when we do something like this. It, it, could, it could output a value, it could explode, it could crash, um, it could do whatever. So <laughs> it's undefined behavior and you definitely wanna be careful uh, when you do something like this. So that's, uh, that's uh, all I got for this video. And then